problem 8.71 we have a ball of clay and a block of wood on a massless table or on, on a frictionless table it may also be massless it doesn't really matter for this problem so the clay comes along and hits the block of wood and sticks to it and knocks it off the table and what we want to know is how how great a, a horizontal distance will this uh combined object move before it hits the ground and actually i guess that should be about there because there's the edge of the table and it will start falling once it clears that the height of the table is 2.2 meters these are the masses of the objects the clay is originally moving at 24 meters per second so you defined x So what we want to do first of all is find what the initial speed of the clay and wood object is after the impact occurs and right before it starts falling. Because there's no friction, the, the speed right after the impact occurs will be the same uh, until it starts falling, in which case and it, then it'll start speeding up because gravity will be acting upon it. So if we call capital M the mass of both the clay and wood combined, and we call our speed we're looking for here V, we could even call it V sub X if we like. So that's going to be equal to the momentum before, which only comes from the clay moving. And this is 1.41 meters per second. And now we need to know how long it takes for the object to hit the ground. So it'll continue in the x direction at the same speed until it hits the ground. And it will start falling in the y direction. with an acceleration due to gravity on it. So we'll call it its vertical position Y. That's, you know, pretty standard. It's gonna be the initial position. And since we're gonna have Y go, going up being positive, just cause that's how I felt like doing it. We'll have a negative sign here. Now there's no initial velocity in the y direction, so we don't need to include that. And then the acceleration is from gravity. And you know, this should look familiar. So y naught is equal to 2.2 meters y of t I don't know, star let's call it just to differentiate it from the variable time is equal to zero so when this is equal to zero we'll be at t star so we have y naught equals one half g t star squared. So then t star is equal to the square root of two y naught divided by g. This is 0 0.670 seconds. So now, x is just going to be the distance that that moves as long as it can be moving, which is until it hits the floor. So this, uh, let me draw that a little bit better. There we go. 
So that's equal to the speed times the time it's taken. And that works out. So that's our 1.41 meters per second times our 0 0.670 seconds. And so we now know that our clay-covered wood goes a distance of 0.945 meters from the table's edge before it hits the ground. <laughs>